friends. Very important thing I am going to tell you today. Suppose you are entering a room and people know you are fully vaccinated and they feel very comfortable that here is a vaccinated person, he will not spread infection. The question is, can a vaccinated person infect another person? The answer is yes. I will tell you how. Fully vaccinated does not mean you are immune to COVID-19. It does not mean that. Because you are not killing the environmental thing. It enters your body. You will not get diseased. But it may reside in your nose. Inside. I will give some examples. Can an unvaccinated person get infected from a vaccinated person? Same. Now this is a story from San Diego Union Tribune. They drive in a beautiful way. These are all 10 vaccinated people. Mind it. All 10 vaccinated. They are asymptomatic and they cannot transmit. Now here is the asymptomatic person who can transmit the infection. One out of ten. One out of ten can transmit the infection. Okay? And if there are ten people who are unvaccinated, no vaccine, out of them, eight will be totally sick, infected, people will know about it. Two will be infected but may not have symptoms, so 20%. And such people, who, they will say, oh, I don't have fever, I don't have cough. Why are you asking me to put on masks and take precautions? Because they are likely to infect others. So vaccinated people can also infect others. And unvaccinated people, more of them, double the number, can infect others. How do vaccinated people spread Delta? This question was raised by Nature, a very prestigious journal. So, same answer, vaccinated people who became infected with Delta can carry as much virus in their nose as do unvaccinated people. So vaccination does not make you, give you immunity. There are a number of studies pouring in to be published and they all say the clearance of virus is, is there after shedding, it continues to be shed. Here I would like to differentiate between the two, infection and disease. Once you get a virus inside yourself, if you get a symptom, it is disease. If you do not get symptom, you are infected but asymptomatic. This is to understood. Similarly, this point again, I'm trying to. This is not the time to let your guard down. Immune to COVID 19 is not the concept if you are vaccinated. So be careful, do not let your guard down. Continue to wear your mask and all the COVID appropriate behavior like distancing, washing your hands, and wearing the mask. What does it mean a vaccine offers 80% efficacy? It's not that. 80% of your body will be pre prevented. No, it means only that if the 10 people are there, 80% will be in fact pro protecting because it's a protection which is being given. 20% may not. And see, this is a modern trial. 14,000 people were given vaccine, 40,000 people were not given vaccine. So, first, when they start getting symptoms of disease, only 11 got. And in placebo group, there were 185 who got it. So the efficacy rate became 94.1%. So this is what happens. You get a symptom, then only the disease occurs. The vaccine tries to prevent it. Efficacy in preventing symptom COVID-19 in trials is actually efficacy. In trials, the things are very well matched. Age, height, weight, other diseases. That's why you get efficacy, you call it efficacy. And it's more of a controlled trial situation. But, but effectiveness is an actual practice in fields. When it happens, when people are using it, then there's effectiveness. That's what is the difference between efficacy and effectiveness. Thank you.